Welcome to the adventures of Frank and Tina. Today we're going to be talking about Tina's everyday carry, her EDC, because she is very conscious about her safety. And uh, anyway, we want to do a shout out today to some people, so stick around for the shout out and uh, we'll shout out, shout out some great channels. We're going to shout right in your ear like that. <laughs> First and foremost, I have this in my car everywhere I go. So, um, one, if I needed to bust my window out, I could. And two, if I needed to shank somebody, I could. You know, yeah, it's pretty sharp. Got a good point on it. Always need a good knife in your car or on yourself. What I think. And then I have my handy dandy baby gun, which is still hurts you very bad and probably kill you if I hit you in the right place. So, this is what I keep in my pocketbook at all times. What is this? It's a Ruger 380 mm -hmm. LCP. Uh -huh. Show a close up on it. Mm -hmm. Let's flip it around. Let's see the other side. Don't point it at me. <laughs> don't, <mean. laughs> don't ask to see my gun if you don't want We don't to need back. gun safety. This isn't a gun safety. Unless you did it again. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this is my favorite one. Uh, it actually has a little case that goes in. And look here. You always need a lot of bullets. So I'm filled to the rim. We won't put that in because I'm a danger to society. <laughs> this is my favorite one. It's perfect for my fingers and my hand. And it's a little heavy, but not too heavy. And, and what is that? What kind is, of gun is it? What is it? You don't know what your own gun is? No. It's a Ruger 9E. Ruger 9E. 9 millimeter. 9 millimeter. Yeah, it'll scare off some people. And if you had to shoot them, shoot them between the eyes. And the one crazy thing about it is most women are better shots than men. And let me tell you something. This girl right here can shoot the eye out of a bird flying. Yeah. And I didn't believe it till we went to the range and she made me look really stupid. Yeah. It made half the men up there look really stupid. Yeah, I'm really good. So. But I'll tell you something, especially women. You'll have one of these in your pocketbook at all times. I take this to the grocery store, to the drug store, to other places I'm not going to say. But I take it everywhere. I took it to church. And we actually needed it one day. Almost needed it. We were sitting in church and there was a very strange feeling that came over. And uh, luckily I had it in my pocketbook. Because if I hadn't, we would have been in a bad situation. <laughs> We've had a couple times we've had yeah. bad situations that yeah. have helped on us On trips, out. you always need a gun. And I take both of them when we go on trips. One up under my, my, this one goes under my seat or, you know, right beside my front seat. This one's always in my pocketbook, right handy. And I always have my handy dandy shank. And what happens if uh, those three won't get the job done? I get them karate chop them. <laughs> no, no, besides that, <laughs> Sorry. What, what do you got? I got my telephone to call law. You got something else, too. I got Frank, yeah. Besides me, you got oh, something no. else. Oh, kids. I can throw it my It starts with an A. Oh, I got my AR. I forgot about that one. That's the big boy. I'll show that to you later. I got to go. But it, anyway, uh, her mom has a, a broke leg. Mm, it's broken three, three places. Y'all yeah. pray for her. Her name's Carol. And uh, she needs all the prayer she you She really got. does. We're going to the ortho today to see if we can get that doggone cast off because she's in a wheelchair. She fell in her backyard. Mm -hmm. And she helps a lot of people. She's she a very really good woman. She's a great woman. And you want, to, you want me to tell, tell them the story real quick about what happened when um, Tina had an ex way before we met that uh, uh, was stalking her. And uh, he came sneaking up in the backyard. And, and what happened with that? Tell them what your mother did to this little old lady, sweet little old lady. You never know. I mean, she was middle aged at the time. She was more than middle aged. But anyway, so um, he came stalking me through the woods, and um, I went up and told my mother that I could hear twigs cracking in the in the woods, and she said, "Stay in the house. I'll be right back." <laughs> and she came through, and we went out the door, and um, I couldn't let her go out there alone. I didn't know what she was doing. So anyway. Um, I went out and I went around one corner of the house and she was at the other corner of the house at the back and all I could see was her standing there and then all of a sudden the guy that was talking to me 
come creeping out of the woods and stepped on this little porch down there on a building. And as soon as she saw him, she raised her gun straight up in the air at him and walked like a gunman <laughs> straight toward him, made him put his hands in the air. She never raised her voice. She never lost her cool. She told him to put his hands in the air. And then she proceeded to explain to him how she would kill him. He was on her property stalking me. And she would kill him and nothing would happen to her because he was stalking. And he, um, he tried to talk to her. It didn't work, uh, you know. Anyway, she told him to slither back through the woods where he came from. And he was going to go through, down, go down the road. And she, he said, well, I'll just go there. She said, no, you won't. You'll go where I told you. She had the gun right in his face the whole time. He was shaking like a leaf. And I get it from a mama. Yeah. So a gun won't do you no good if you're not going to pull the trigger. That's right. And trust me, my mother and myself will pull the trigger. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. No I don't doubt. I don't carry because, I mean, you know, good and well, what would I do? I would talk to him. Oh, he'd talk to him. One time, this is he didn't know I was going to say this, but one time, many years ago, this guy um, really ticked me off. Long story, but anyway, he ticked me off. So he was going to run out and leave. Well, I grabbed up my pistol. Wait a minute, you got to tell the whole story. They're going to think you're a nut. I, I get back on the job. It's a jungle out there. <laughs> now i got to hunt them down. The guy hit you. He was hitting you in front of your children. Yeah, okay. he, he choked me. And anyway, so he was going to run out and leave. I guess he thought I was going to call the law, but no. I ran in and got my pistol anyway. So it was pitch black outside. There was no lights on out there. So I couldn't tell where he was at. And I started unloading, you know, right around the window and over the cab of the truck. You know, because I meant to kill him at the time. I'm glad I didn't, but at the time I meant to. And um, when I wasn't sure if I'd hit him or not, I, I shot the back tire out of his truck so he couldn't leave because I knew I had to go reload. So while I, <laughs> I hit the tire and I blew it out and I ran in the house to reload. Well, he runs out in the middle of the street screaming like a little girl. She's going to kill me. She's going to kill me. Call the law. Call the law. The law came, all right. City and county. They converged. They came up, slammed me against the wall. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? It's in the house on the fireplace. Took me to jail. Then took me to court that night. I ended up, thank God, got off with discharging a firearm within the city limits. They charged me a $100 fine, kept my gun for 20 or 30 days. And when I went to get my gun, they kept my bullets. But I told them that's okay. I've got... 200 more at home just like them. <laughs> tell, tell, them what, tell them what the judge said when he he asked you. Uh, oh, the judge said. Um, were you trying to kill him? Miss Dana, were you trying to kill him? And I said, absolutely. I was trying to shoot him right between the eyes, and I missed. Um, but I was trying to. He said, well, what would you have done if you had shot him and killed him? I said, I would have called the law and the ambulance. What else would I do? Didn't he tell you that was attempted murder? Yeah, they said, he said, the judge said, do you realize you could be charged with attempted murder? And at that point, I had not thought about it. I was just thinking my kids saw me uh, getting abused, and he thought he was going to get his little truck right away, do it to somebody else. And then you told the judge what happened, and he threw it out. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Well, actually, the guy that I shot at and tried to kill stood up. And, you know, at that point when he said, do you realize you could be charged with attempted murder? He stood up and defended me. After you tried He's to passed kill away now, and I didn't kill him. I promise you. He passed away from a car wreck. But, but anyway, anyway, she's a very good guardian. She's not a loose cannon at all. By no means, she does not. <laughs> you do it. Gun drawing practice. Ten minutes every day. If I ever have to use this baby, I want to teach it to come to pop in a hurry. <laughs> okay, we want to do some more shout-outs. We've got The Real Love Survival. Man, this guy, he does some prepping videos and some urban survival stuff. It's a really good channel. You need to check that out. If you like knives, go to Cowboy C. Bop. He's great. You need to check that out. Y'all like and subscribe and support these channels too because they're working hard. Same as we are. Please like and subscribe. I works. We need that. Um, 
Frontier Survival. That's another one. He's just started that channel. Man, this guy's got some bushcraft stuff on there that's great. He's got one about making a chair. All this different stuff on there. So he's got a bug out bag that he put on there that well, we're going to do a video on a bug out bag. But I'm probably going to buy that bag that he's got on there for one for me and one for Tina because, you know, we want to be prepared when we're going to bug out. Um, and the other one is Camper Life. Um, they've had some severe flooding up there where they're at. So pray for those people. And anyway, subscribe and like Camper Life. And uh, anyway, uh, I guess I need to go to work so I can stay with this pretty lady. Thank y'all so much for pray praying for me when I was yes. sick and in the hospital last week. Thank you for that. Everybody who prayed for me, thank you so much. She seriously really almost died. She had sepsis and it, it was, was a week ago and it was, it was horrible. Um, really? And y'all pray for her because she's about to probably have to have surgery on her neck mm -hmm. and uh tina goes through a has a, believe it or not i'm the big fat one but uh, and she's in real good shape but um uh, she has more health problems than i do and it's probably because she's old mm -hmm. she's a lot older than I am. i'm 52 how old are you i'm 49 mm, just a baby i'm turning 50 i got in more about brains a month, though so. <laughs> yeah i'm turning 50 in about a month i'm just barely behind her but, but who looks better? Yeah, Tommy and Kelly. Old lady about, or the who, young who man? Looks better? <laughs> who, who looks better? She looks a lot better than I That's do. That's right. But anyway, thank y'all for yeah. um, subscribing to us. Thank you most of all for the prayers. Yes. Thank you so much for that. And for all you people out there that make the videos, thank you for the videos you make. We really do enjoy them. Really do. Um, and we watch them a lot. And I hope y'all like ours. And uh, y'all have a blessed day. And... Um, then you pray for the world on uh, this whole coronavirus thing, yes. man. It's went to 910 people as of this morning have died from it. And it's spread to 12 cases even here in the United States. So uh, in Jesus' name, let's just go ahead and agree. In Jesus' name, this thing is going to be eradicated. You agree Amen. with me, Tina? Yes. When two or more of us agree, that's what it's going to happen. So, that's right. So let's pray for all those people in China and uh, pray for all the people stuck on those boats. And uh, anyway, thank y'all and y'all have a blessed day.